Hello, my name's Stephen Carr, and I'd like to welcome you back to SketchUp, uh, working with the gazebo. This is part two of the gazebo. Now what I'd like us to do is I'd like us to explore how we can create the, the dome on the top. So to create the dome on the top, what we need to do is we need to create a uh, arc. So I'm just going to create an arc, and I'm just going to go up this center area. In the blue direction for four, say three foot six. It's not really important, three foot six, three foot eight, four foot. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get it to be on these little points here. If we don't do it on the points, we'll see little gaps when we do our dome. So um, I think we can work with this pretty easily. So we're going to do the rotate copy multiple. So I'm going to select this arc, and then I click on Rotate, and of course Copy. I start here and click here, and then I can rotate here 15 degrees, and this is times 11. And this gives me a complete circle. There's 12 sections times 2 is 24 sections. So this gives me my complete uh, area for creating my little spider here. So now I'm just going to select all of these. And when I select them, then I'm going to be looking at my sandbox tools. And the one we need to look at here is called From Contours. That's the first one here. So I click on this, and it creates a skin for us. I can click on this skin, I can, and you can see that it's already a group, so I can right-click, and I can hide it, and now I can erase my construction. I don't need this anymore, so now edit on hide last. So there's my dome. Um, we could look at adding materials to this, so if I click on my materials... Go into Translucent, and I can pick any of these colors that I like, and I can paint it, and I can see that I can see right through it, so it gives me a nice little dome. If I want, I can play with the colors a little bit, make it a little bit lighter or a little bit darker, whatever your preference is. So I'm just going to leave this at this point for now. Uh, again, this is a group. This is a group. This is a group. So what I'd like to do now is I would like to construct. I would like to construct my handrails. So I'm just going to create some a post here. Start here and just click here. And I'm just going to go 4 point, 4 comma 4. Enter. And then I'm just going to pull this up 8 feet. And this gives me my post. So, of course, I'm just going to triple click on it. And one, two, three, right click, make a group. Or if you want to make it a little bit fancier, you can make it a component. When you're finished, you can fix that up. So I'm just going to do a move copy grab the lower right hand corner and move it over to the other corner. So this sets up my basic construction for my one side of my posts. We know that uh, if we're going to have a handrail on here we need a maximum gap is four inches. Four inches and the top of the handrail should be 42 inches. Okay, so I'm just going to make a another rectangle here, and this is um, 3.53 and a half comma 1.75. Okay, 1.75 comma 
0.5. So this is the cool thing about SketchUp. If you get your dimensions go backwards on you, you just have to retype them in. So now I'm just going to move this from the midpoint. Basically, just by eye is good enough. Okay, so now I just need to, again, push pull this across to this surface. And now I have my basic base rail. We'll click on it three times. One, two, three to select it. Right click. Make a group. And I'm just going to do a move copy. And again, I can just pick the midpoint of this and take it up to that point there. So this gives me the top rail for my handrail now. So if I want to do my posts in here, I'm just going to find the center of there's the center. So now I can do my spindles. So I'm just going to create a one inch uh, actually, I'll just go here and just make this 1.5 comma 1.5 and select that and move the midpoint to here and press pull this surface up to this edge same thing one two three right click make group and I'm going to do a move copy and I'll just come across here four times nine okay times eight and I think everything's looking pretty good except for maybe I need to just even these out a bit so I'll just select them and I'm just going to move them by eye move that looks good I'm going to go back to select select everything here now right click make a group and don't need those construction lines anymore I think we're finished. So now all I really want to do here is do a rotate copy. Same problem. I need to know where the center is so that I can rotate it. So I just drew a line this time because the line definitely has a midpoint. So I select my posts and handrail. Do a rotate copy. And I'm going to go two steps, click on to here, and then times three. This gives me my handrails on all three sides. So again, I would add materials. So I'm just going to go into woods. And I'll just make my deck this wood color, this wood color here. You're quite welcome to change. Use any wood styles you want. Just paint these like this. And I would like to see uh, some chairs or something in here so that someone has some place to sit. And this will give them, because you know we have to decorate it, maybe put some plants, hang some plants in here. Whatever you like to do. It's your gazebo so you have fun with it. Thank you and we'll see you the next cooking class.